It's Friday, September 23rd. The equinox rolled in last night, and it so did. did fall, it feels like, out there today. Boy, it doesn't feel good. It does feel great. Uh, uh, I like the fall weather. I hope it's not a false fall and that we really do have a fall, but something tells me we'll see 90 again. Just a, well, just a fall. Indian summers, I think that's what they would refer yes. to that. Well, this has uh, been a week uh, that has uh, generated – understandably uh, several phone calls to us about what's going on and what we're doing and and where is the market going and why is I mean, most of our clients don't ask why it's happening even though that's a question asked and the reason they don't is because they we, they understand we, they understand they're they they're well educated and we've done I think a good job of communicating with them through through apparatuses like this um, to let them know what we're thinking and where markets are going, and and uh, the, the market is 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 headed down. I think this week was a bit of a head scratcher for us because, you know, we 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 knew that the Fed was going to low uh, raise rates seventy five basis points. You know, we we've known they were going to raise rates seventy five basis points a month prior, and they're probably going to do the same thing in the next Fed funds meeting. But the markets don't seem to really get it yet that the Fed's serious. And they're going to do whatever they have to do to get inflation down. That would be the driver, the real reason behind what's going on. Now, you also have what's going on in Russia and the conversation with Putin about the draft that he drafted uh, uh, young Russians to, to, to build up his forces and the, the, the threat of he would use any type of weapons. And when he says that, the nuclear discussion becomes. So you have that creating geopolitical anxiety. Um, we're looking ahead. Uh, we we uh, continue to re review everybody's accounts. We know the weighting in equities we have. We know the positions are value-driven, dividend-driven, some growth in certain perspectives, and we know that we're buying more Treasury bills and Treasury notes than we ever have before. And so we know we're defensive in what we're doing. What we're now going to begin to do, and Gib and I talked about it this week, to uh, let you know that is this between now and the end of the year and going into next year, this might be a good year to begin to think about some tax harvesting. And what we, when we say that, we refer to, first of all, the ability to create tax loss in an after tax account. Correct. So not your IRAs. So there's two ways to look at it. We can create losses and then match those against gains that you might have had, or we can, it's probably even a better market to look at gains that you might have and then uh, take those gains, take, take sell that particular security, hold, uh, stay away from it for 30 days because we don't think the markets are going to do much better in the next 30 days, and then buy that same uh, security back. Uh, and we're not going to talk about which one's here because it's a, it would be a compliance nightmare, but but you probably have some indication when you look at your your gains and losses, which ones we're talking about. So it does present some really good opportunities to take advantage of, of some gains now and maybe marry those with losses that you've had through the years. So we are going uh, to begin to add that uh, to the, the review process that we, are, uh, we do on a very regular basis. Uh, that, that's leading us into the fact that we think inflation, uh, until you see inflation beginning to drop and drop on a regular basis, we believe the market is going to have this volatility. We're asked how long that's going to be. It's going to be, let's say we're at least thinking through mid-year next year, 2023. At least, yeah, at least. It's Could be longer. Be. But but for this point in time, so we're thinking of how to be defensive. We're thinking about how to be creative and, and do some tax harvesting where it's appropriate. And we're looking at uh, ways in which we can create buying opportunities in, in sectors or styles that still make sense. So uh, you aren't immune to the up and downs. We have tremendously lessened those roller coaster roads. But you still are seeing it in weeks like right. we're, we're seeing right now. Right. I mean, the Dow this morning uh, is breached the 30,000 level, which uh, usually means that the market is going to go down even a little bit further. So I, um, it's going to be some, some tough, tough sledding uh, over the rest of the year. 
but we'll pre we'll prepare for it and um, be ready to take advantage of things when we can take advantage of them. And I will say this to you, even with this level of volatility we've seen, we have not hit any point that we have not already worked our way through and seen that we have the capability to turn it around very um, very appropriately when the market presents itself. So we feel in control of what we're doing, and we want you to know that also. Enjoy the, the weekend. Enjoy this great weather we're having. Be safe. And always remember, it is your money. And your money matters. See you next week.